All right, we got another beautiful day in Texas here at Texas Red Barn. Good day and welcome. Get my pool set back up. And I decided we're going to do a little smoking. Smoking some little meat. What we do. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, sirloin roast. You can use chuck roast, it doesn't matter. But uh, we're going to smoke these things. Basically, how you start them off as a brisket, like a brisket, like you do a brisket. And um, we're going to cube them up, and both of them we're going to cube up and make burn ins out of. Strictly burn ins out of these things. They come out fantastic. Do it. Give it a try. Smoke them up. sirloin roast that we chose pretty nice looking pieces of meat here like I said you can use chuck you can use whatever you want anyway I've sauced it up with uh, some Worcestershire sauce and uh, you know how we do it we're gonna start seasoning them up baby all right we got these babies doctored up like you know I like to call it using a little bit of uh, I got this season here it's a uh, it's a ranch style steak seasoning really good uh, throw it on brisket and everything. Of course, onion powder, garlic powder, both sides. Get it all doctored up really well. Uh, a little piece here. I'm not going to tie it up today. I decided to grab these big toothpick looking things, break them off, and shove them in a few places here. All right, these have been on the smoke for about an hour. Uh, doing pretty good. We're just going to spritz them up a little bit. Use whatever you want. I think I got, a, I got some apple cider vinegar in here and a few other things. But, uh, just spritz them up and let them keep on going, baby. All right, so we pulled these things off. About 149 degrees internal on these two sirloin roasts. And, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cubing these up. And we're going to make some sauces to put in there. Tinful over the top of them. Put them back in the smoker for yeah, probably a couple of hours. But, uh, then we got some jalapenos and stuff that we got to get together and uh, make some Texas uh, tornadoes so we'll get this sliced up all right here we go folks we're gonna put a little bit of edge on this knife here real quick get to cubing this up make a little uh, about one inch cubes or so with both of these throw them back in the pan make up a little solution a little goodness and uh, we're going to throw these babies back on the smoker. Let me get an edge real quick. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but it is raining. It is storming outside. We have got a storm going on. It's been thundering and lightning. Let's see what we got going on out here. It's just been crazy out here. It's all right. It ain't going to stop us from cooking. Get on out of here. So, we got this all cubed up. And here's what we got. Big plate of goodness. All right? And a glass of goodness. So, uh, you know, it's good enough to eat right now. And I know that because, well, I done had me a piece or two of it. So, mm. definitely good stuff. But we're going to doctor this up. We're going to fold it up. And we're going to throw it back on the smoker. I'll let you know what's going on in a bit. Oh, man, man. It's going to be good. All right, what we're about to start doing is we're going to start adding some flavors to this cubed meat. Now, it's been smoking for a few hours. Excuse me, I had to have a drink. Pulled it off, cubed it up real good. You can do it how you want to. There are no rules. Follow who you want to follow. I've got already about a uh, tablespoon of uh, liquid smoke in there. And I've got quite a bit of, uh, i got a, quite a bit of, Chuck roast or uh, sirloin roast here, so I'm gonna put another another tablespoon of liquid smoke in there. Then I've got a bouillon mix that I'm gonna pour inside of it because uh, you know when there's some liquid up in there. I've got about a cup because I have a lot of quite a bit of beef here. Now I'm gonna pour my bouillon mix all over this for the time being. Make sure I got enough liquid, but not too much. You don't want too much. We don't want to roast this thing. 
And then I've got about a, oh man, probably about an eighth of a cup of uh, Louisiana hot sauce. We're going to spice this baby up a little bit. Maybe a little too much for some of you. You ain't got to use it. But I'm going to. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to mix this up real good. Get it all mixed in. Uh, I got my homemade barbecue sauce here. I'm gonna put on later though. So we're gonna mix this up real good. Throw some foil on top of it. Put it back in the smoker for at least an hour. And uh, then we're gonna pull it off, drain all the juices out, mix it with that barbecue sauce, spray a little bit on there, and then crisp it up a little bit. So we'll see how we do. But that's what we're gonna do. All right, this is what I wind up doing. I got too much beef, so uh, put it in two pans. Took half of the beef or half of the broth and juices out of this and the hot sauce and all that, poured it over to this one. So we're gonna do two pans. And uh, we're gonna fill these babies up. Throw these suckers on the smoker. And get the, get the cooking, baby. All right, we got these suckers double wrapped. Good and tight. And uh, we're going to throw these suckers out on the smoker and, and let them braise. We're going to braise these suckers for uh, man, at least an hour. So we'll see We'll see what happens. At least an hour, maybe two. Oh, man. These are smelling good. We braise these for about, a, about an hour to hour and a half. About an hour and a half. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain all these juices off. Mix them with about half of my homemade barbecue sauce. And then we're going to sauce it up a little bit. Probably throw them all in one pan. Throw them back on the smoker, open. That way they, uh, you know, get that smoke and hopefully uh, crisp them up a little bit. Man, it smells good, though, already. All right, so what we have done here. Oh, shit, I'm making a mess. Taking all the juices. From both pans of meat, just poured it into a bowl. There's a lot of juices in there, a lot of flavors. And then I take in a big jar of my homemade burpee sauce, poured it in the bowl. And then I just mixed, shit, I don't know, half to three quarters, whatever. You know, however you want to do it. There's no rules. And I'm mixing it all together with my barbecue sauce, all that juices right there. And then we're going to pour it right over the top of this and right back in the smoker. Do that uh, for about, I don't know, we'll see, half an hour to an hour. And then we'll be done. Oh, baby, this is going to be fantastic. All right, so we poured all of that bowl inside of here. We're going to throw this back on the smoker. And I will be keeping all of this for a marinade later on. But here's what it's about. Let's go in there and uh, caramelize this a little bit. Oh, baby, I can't wait. All right, let's see what we got here. Man. There's some nice, good-looking chunks right there. Uh, baby. Let's give it a little try. Oh man. Hmm. I may just sit here and eat all these. That is good. A little sweetness, a little barbecueness to it. Quite a bit of spice. Man. These things are fantastic. Oh yeah, we know where that's going. Get to cooking, get to smoking, get to grilling. There are no rules. Smoke it, baby. Now these burn ends, they turned out really good. Flavor was unbelievable. Just great, I mean, they're just great. You know, give it, do it. Just, you know, get out there and cut them up and whatever. Normally, when I get to that point where I'm had to foil on them and I was done. A lot of times I'll give me a good hot grill and I'll throw them on there and kind of char them up a little bit. 
So I like that little bit of a charred flavor. I didn't do these that way. Uh, it was really good if you do them that way. But either way, they came out fantastic. But uh, I do recommend that. When you get done cooking them how you're going to cook them or whatever, uh, throw those suckers on the grill, get a little bit of char to them. Oh, man, so good. Have a good day.